disassembly of the Mauser model 7184. Uh, we're going to make a, a video, it'll probably be in more than one part. Uh, and what we have here is we have an original one that is unmodified. And then you will also run across versions of this gun which have been shortened, cut down, or modified a little bit. Whether it's done by a government arsenal like this one here, or if somebody's cut them down. A lot of these were cut down and reissued as reserve weapons all the way up to World War II. So you will find this gun, you know, in different states of modification in it. Uh, what we're going to do is do a video on disassembling this standard gun here. And then I'll probably make uh, another part two or part three of doing the uh, disassembly of the gun that's been shortened and modified because it'll be a little bit different. And I, you know, this is just the one I have. I've seen photographs of something similar to this, and it's kind of going to be up to you uh, how to handle that. And the only difference would be when it comes up to the forward barrel band and how this has been reconfigured. Okay? First thing you do, like with anything, is clear the weapon. Make sure the weapon is unloaded. Now the bolt is retained with a washer and a screw, much like the Model 71 and the uh, Portuguese, call it Karpacic or whatever, or Kropacek, some people call it. The difference here, and this is important, is this screw will not come out. There's a pin or something that holds the screw in. So don't try to take the screw out. On the other models, the screw will totally come out. It will not on, the, uh, on this model. So you take your screwdriver and you back the screw out, basically as far as it goes and leave it alone. Don't try to force it. There's a pin or something up underneath there. Now once you get the washer up, you'll notice where the hump is. This is what retains it. So what you have to do is lift up the washer so it clears that. And then on this side with the magazine cut off, you put a slight amount of pressure, you have the magazine cut off as in the forward position. With this washer up and a little bit of pressure on the bolt, you kind of come back. Oh. There it goes. With the cut off. You manipulate the cut off and that releases the bolt out of the uh, action. Now we're going to take the bolt, set it aside, and do a separate bolt disassembly like on all of these. Okay, now on to the next step. The next step is up here forward where this magazine cap and stacking uh, rod is. Is you unscrew this here. Now there's a spring in here. Now this magazine spring is very fine, very delicate, so be careful when handling this. And you'll have your magazine power. Now another point, when I first got this gun, this cap was stuck on. If the cap is stuck on there and you can't get it loose, don't panic. You can skip this end of it and I'll advise you how to work on it. Now the next step is this screw here. This screw retains what looks like a washer here, but is actually a little wedge that comes out over here. So this is also a very small part, so make sure you have a good work area where you can won't lose this little tiny screw. You remove this little screw here. See, it's very small. Set it aside for other pieces. And then from this side here where the wedge is, you just kind of push it. And this will
this wedge comes out. And this wedge is what holds the magazine tube in. So now, now you can remove the front barrel. Oh no, you can't. Now you can either slide this out. This is where the magazine tube will come out. Okay? And like I said, if the cap's stuck on there, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. How to... So remove the magazine tube. And if you look on a magazine tube, there's a notch on there. And this locks into, I'll show it to you, this all kind of slides in and that wedge locks this in underneath the barrel. Now you can remove the front barrel band with the bayonet lug. Okay, now we're going to go on to the next step.